development. Mercedes-Benz is best known for big, luxurious four-door sedans. But with the arrival of the smart little SLK Roadster, many two-door fans are giving Germany's best-known car company a second look. And that attention will soon be rewarded with the arrival of another, if larger, sports luxury model, the CLK. Does this mean more two-door success for Stuttgart? You'd better believe it, because when you look this good, success can't be far behind. And the 1998 Mercedes-Benz CLK 320 Coupe has success written all over it, not to mention plenty of performance to match its confident and self-assured posture. That begins at ground level with a set of lightly polished 16 by 7 inch forged alloy wheels wrapped in low profile continental rubber and works its way forward to a face that mirrors its larger E-Class sibling. A look originating with the CLK's real progenitor, the 1993 design Studi Coupe concept. The car that created the mold for the striking and much copied elliptical inboard outboard headlight arrangement that graces the CLK's face which fronts a profile that brings to mind the physique of a world-class athlete, taut, muscular, and well-defined, while the high hatchback-styled rear creates the impression of a runner crouched at the blocks waiting for the starting gun. But even the fastest sprinter wouldn't have much of a chance against a competitor that can dash from 0 to 60 in 6.7 seconds. Also impressive is the equally strong pull from 60 to 110. Not bad for an engine that fills many shoes, as this one motivates its weightier relatives, the M-Class SUV and the E-Class sedan as well. The new all-aluminum 3.2-liter V6 puts out 215 horsepower and 228 pound-feet of torque, 85% of it available at a low 2,000 RPM, and features plenty of high-tech wizardry like three valves per cylinder, twin spark plug technology with a coil for each plug. Then there's the Flexible Service System, or FSS, which considers various stresses acting on the engine and calculates the appropriate service intervals. A 4.3 liter V8 CLK 430 will debut in late 1998. Engine turnout is fed to the rear wheels through a driver adaptive five-speed automatic transmission with standard and winter driving modes. A combination vitalized by a constant electronic dialogue between drivetrain and chassis. This bit-driven conversation is activated by a unique battery-operated electronic key that functions much like a regular key until it's plugged in. Then the car sends it an infrared signal and passcode that when matched allows vehicle ignition. There's a regular key too just in case the remote door lock battery dies and to lock up valuables before you give the digital key to the valet. But trust us, once you are comfortably installed behind the wheel, you're not going to want to turn this car over to anybody. The leather buckets offer identical adjustments to both driver and passenger and excellent support on all sides via the obvious eight-way power controls mounted on the door and the slightly cheesy looking switches that operate the three integrated air bladders. The leather wrapped telescoping steering wheel is borrowed from the SLK and cries out for tilt adjustment. Gauges, however, produce only grins, and ergonomically, the rest of the cabin does too, as the dual zone climate controls and switch gear that cranks up the Bose speaker equipped AM FM cassette with optional six disc CD changer lay just at your fingertips, as does the over engineered but marginal cup holder. From the land of beer steins comes a cup holder that barely handles a Dixie cup. The rear seats, though, will handle plenty, for the CLK offers above-average coupe room and above-average egress, too, thanks to a front seat that travels forward whenever the seat back is tilted. There's a power sunshade to improve comfort when the rear seat is in use and retracting headrest to improve driver vision when it isn't. The trunk, like the rear seats, also tenders above average capacity and general ease of use. Even more room can be had by releasing and folding the rear seat backs forward. So stow your gear and take to the highway, confident in the way the tried and true double wishbone and five link coil sprung suspension smooths out all the ugliness. Safe in the knowledge too that the standard traction control and optional electronic stability program are there to bail you out if the ugliness does get out of hand, which it seldom will as the suspension is well balanced and the ball type C-Class steering is fast and nicely weighted. Auto Week concurred saying, the steering is crisp, the ride smooth, while Automobile Magazine added, the balance between steering effort and feedback remains intact from lock to lock. The handling is still sufficiently sharp and fuss-free. 
And then there's Brake Assist, a revolutionary new enhancement that can recognize emergency rapid brake pedal movement and automatically applies full braking effort even if you chicken out. The same kind of braking that brought our CLK down from 60 and 119 feet. Pricing is fairly revolutionary too, at least for a Mercedes Coupe, as the CLK 320 is base priced at $39,850. Sounds like another unexpected bargain from Mercedes-Benz. And that's just about what some folks spend in a year on therapy, which seems like such a waste considering the therapeutic nature of a session behind the wheel of the Mercedes-Benz CLK. The doctor is in, and we can't wait for our next appointment. And I hope you'll join us next week for more Motor Week. We'll drive the latest version of Chrysler's Cab Forward Concord sedan and check out Ford's newest Ranger compact pickup. Craig Singhaus will race to the top of the world as he tackles the famous Pikes Peak hill climb, while Pat Goss quiets some rattles and plugs some leaks. Plus, we'll see how Mazda's Miata Roadster is faring on the used car market. I'm John Davis. We'll see you then. To order a video cassette of this program, call 1-800-422-0064 or send 1995 plus 495 shipping and handling to MotorWeek, Post Office Box 55742, Indianapolis, Indiana 46205.